Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to control volume levels by swiping the edge of your screen. Now this is just one of those cool little mods that gives you a bit of unique functionality. Nothing really groundbreaking, but it's definitely neat, and you might find it quite useful. It's a non-root app created by developer Clownface, but it's not on the Google Play Store just yet, so you'll have to be set up for sideloading apps if you want to try it out. That's as simple as heading to the security menu in settings, then enabling unknown sources. So it's not a major hurdle. Once you've taken care of that though, the next thing you'll need to do is download the APK. I have a link for that in step one at my full tutorial on gadget hacks. So head over there to get started. Then once you've grabbed the file, just tap the download complete notification to launch it. From there, press install, then you'll be just about ready to try it out. So when you first launch the app, you'll get a little demo of how it works. There's a trigger area along the edge of your screen, and all you have to do to control volume is long press it, wait till you feel vibration, then slide your finger up or down. Now by default, the app should already be enabled, but use this toggle switch to turn it on if it's not. From there, you can use this first drop down menu to put the trigger area on either the left or the right edge, but like it says, these other options require an in-app purchase. So my suggestion is to pick either left or right for now, then decide if you want to pay extra for the other trigger area options later. After that though, you can choose which particular volume level you want to control with the second drop down menu. So the sliding gesture can do media volume, ringtone volume, or whatever you want. But once you've got everything set up, you're ready to try it out. The gesture should work on any screen, so it doesn't matter what app you're using. And again, when you feel that buzz, just slide up or down to change the volume level. You'll see a little toast message while you're doing that, so you'll know when you hit the right increment. It doesn't bring up the system volume dialog, but if you do that anyway, you can see that the volume level was adjusted accordingly. Like I said, it's just a cool little tweak, but it's one that actually has some useful functionality. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our brand new site at GadgetHacks.com. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.